Well, I'm on the phone with Dolores Kong, one of the organizers of the Cadillac to Katahdin virtual run. And Dolores, thanks for taking the time on uh, Labor Day to join me. Thank you. Tell me, uh, how many people are taking part in this virtual run? And, and describe the process of what a virtual run is. Sure. 115 people from around the world are car- currently participating in the Cadillac to Katahdin virtual run. And it's a fun thing if uh, people have never done it. All you need to do is log your miles online, whether you're running, hiking, or walking, and you could be anywhere in the world. And with this particular race, people can see their uh, race icon or avatar move from the top of Cadillac all the way up this 200-mile route all the way to Katahdin. So it's a fun activity. So this started, uh, what, on August 15th? Yes. And it goes to until when? December 9th. So there's, people, pl- and there's yes. plenty of time for people to join in. Oh, absolutely. Now, the race itself is uh, 200 miles, but people uh, will get their medal, <laughs> no matter <laughs> whether they finish their 200 miles or not. And at the same time, they're actually helping to raise funds for charity. And we are co-sponsoring this with uh, Mount Desert Island Marathon and Half Marathon and the Millinocket Marathon and Half Marathon as well. So it's a fun activity and benefits charity. And the charities are what? It would be the Friends of Acadia, our Katahdin, and the Millinocket Memorial Library. Oh, so three great charities that that are going to benefit from this. Exactly. And how much does it cost to participate? Uh, if you're a volunteer or a participant in any of the uh, MDI or Millinocket races, it's $30. And if you're uh, just anybody from anywhere in the world, it's 35 Okay. And um, how do you register? You can go to AcadiaOnMyMind.com, which is our blog, and uh, we have a couple of uh, different articles about the race, and just click through right there, and you can register. I know my uh, my sister or my cousin's wife is... Uh is participating. Uh, You've had actually one person that's completed the entire race. Yes, Dreaded Runner is her uh, (laughs) name (laughs) on the screen, and she's actually a member of Crow Athletics, and uh, she's a local uh, runner. Um, Her name is Rebecca Geib. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And and the neat thing is, is you've got some pictures, too, so you can actually see where you are and, and get some pictures as to where you would be if you are running for real as opposed to virtually. Right, exactly. So if you've never been to Acadia or you've never been to Baxter State Park, you can see what it looks like from Cadillac or Katahdin. Yeah, it's kind of cool to be able to do that. I'm still hoping to participate in this. I've got to get my act together. But oh, I'd love to see you in it. You will be in our Dream Team Celebrity <laughs> Racers team. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> well, I, having uh, three dogs here, I'm assuming that they'll get me out and moving, and I just gotta, I've got to uh, uh, mark my, uh, my, my running or my walking of them. Oh, yeah, walking absolutely counts. Yeah, so that's a, that's a neat thing. And, and you can backdate this, too. So if you've been keeping track, mm-hmm. you can uh, backdate your mileage to uh, August 15th. Absolutely. And all you have to do is change the date on the calendar as you're logging your mileage. And you want to do each day separately because then you get to see the picture on the Google view every time that you end your day's mileage. So it's really fun. Is this the first virtual uh, race that you've organized, or have you done others? Yeah, we've done others. Actually, last year we did the Acadia Centennial Trek, which was to celebrate the park centennial. And then we also teamed up with MDI Marathon last year, too, for the virtual edition of the MDI Marathon and Half Marathon. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And, of course, Gary Allen with the uh, the MDI Marathon and oh, also absolutely. the organizer of the Millinocket Marathon. Yes, absolutely. And the great thing about uh, Gary is that he talks about the races, the real-life races, and we hope to do this with the virtual races, too, as being a pebble being cast into uh, still water and creating these rings that really have a broad economic impact and really highlights the charities uh, in in the areas as well. Excellent. Uh, Is there anything you want to add? Uh, well, that uh, I, I hope people will sign up because the more that we can get participating, the more that we can really raise for charity. So go to AcadiaOnMyMind.com. Perfect. Dolores, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Chris. Take care.